welcome to its topic in this video we are going to do uh, we are going to write a program to find prime number using C programming first uh, to before writing the program we have to know what is a prime number prime number are those number who have only two factors one and that number itself so to find a prime number using programming for, uh, we have to find out the factors of the numbers if we didn't find any factor from the number then we can declare that the number is prime and if we find that the number has any other factor except one or the that number then it is a prime number so for that first uh, we will open code block after that we will take a new file then we will take the language as C C++ after that our first work will be to take a head header file which will be include std I O many of you write studio S T U D I O it, it is not studio S T D I O S T D stands for standard I O input output then dot H after that will require a main function main before main we will write the return type it may be integer or void so we are writing int main then inside braces we will need the variable here we will write int n which we will take from user then i this is for index or for find out the factors and also a variable flag flag equal zero flag equal we took zero that means by default we took that uh, the number is prime if you find any factors from the number uh, of the number then we will declare the number is prime and sorry we declare the number is composite or not prime but if we find that the number does not have any factor then we we'll flag will be zero only so let's uh, take the number means let's take the value of n from the user for that we'll write printf statement here we'll give a message to the user right enter our number slash n after that we are going to use scanf function here as we are taking the taking an integer value so person d so we'll write person d and as we are storing the value inside variable n so M person and after that we have to find out the factors now just a simple logic suppose I am finding the factor of 5 so the largest factor of the of that number will be 5 only and the second largest factor will be 2 and 2 is half of that number so as a in prime number the condition is that uh, the number should have only two factors that is 1 and that number itself so we will not check till the end of the number we will check the factors till half of the number means we will start dividing the number from 2 
first we'll divide it by 2 after that 3 after that 4 and till half of that number if the user enter 30 then till 15 we are dividing and if we find any factor we will replace the flag value with 1 and here also we are using one more thing uh, let me write the program then you will know first 4 i equal to 2 we are using because every number can be divided by 1 so if I take 1 then of course we'll get a factor that's why it's 2 i less than equal to n by 2 as I already told if the user enter 30 then we'll go till 15 after that I plus plus now Inside here, we are going to divide the number and check whether it can be divided by 2 or not. For that, we will write if n modulus i. The uh, i value at beginning 2, so it will divide n by 2 first and will compare whether it is 0 or not. Means if it is divisible, of course the remainder will be 0. If it is not divisible, will get more remainder so if it is divisible remainder will be zero if it is not divisible we'll get a remainder isn't it after that inside here we'll do one thing if it is divisible then we'll change the value of flag by one so we'll write flag equal one after that suppose i am checking 30 at first we are trying to whether 30 can be divided by 2 or not it can be divided that means it is not a prime number so there is no reason to divide the number n again with 3 and 4 so directly we can declare that uh, 30 is not a prime number that's why we will change the value of flag by 1 after that as it is divisible so we will come out from the loop we are not going to continue the division that's why break break statement is used to uh, terminate a loop before it execution time after that we will come out from the for loop and here we will write if flag equals 0 and number not equal 1, we will write two condition. If we can write this only directly, if flag equal 0, then we can write that printf. We can write this way percentage d is a prime number semicolon after that will come out from the if statement and here sorry this if will be outside of the four block not inside so we are going to write that if statement outside the for loop and at end we will write return statement that is return 0 the compiler program name is prime Here I have forgot to give semicolon that's why red mark let compile again so enter a number asking me to enter a number let's enter 8 nothing came because I have not written the else statement again compile let's write 7 it came 0 is a prime number there is also a reason 
I have given here percent D is a prime number but I have not mentioned a variable which value we are going to display here so we'll write here n now let's see we will write now 23 so 23 is a prime number now if I write 1 as we know 1 is not a prime number still it will come 1 is a prime number so to overcome from this problem in that if statement we will write one more condition if flag equals 0 and and not equal 1 means if the value is uh, value of flag is 0 and n is not 1 at that time only we will declare the number as prime otherwise we will write else statement else here we will write printf percentage d is not a prime number and the value of here d will be n and will require semicolon don't forget to give that now let's compile the program now if we write a number which can be divided by any other number like 78 it's showing that 70 is not a prime number and if we take a number which can be divided by any other number let it be 97 it will show that 97 is a prime number so this way we can write this program uh, to find a number whether it is prime or not prime I hope you have understood and this is very important for your examination for both practical and theory practice this program and I think you now understood why we are using flag here who are new to the programming for them you will think that why we are using flag here flag is uh, like by default we are taking assuming that user is providing us prime number and after that we are dividing the number and if we are getting any other factors we are declaring the value of flag equal 1 after that we will compare the value of flag if the value of flag is 0 and number is not 1 then the number is prime otherwise it is not prime so this way we can do this program if you like the video please give it thumbs up thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye